Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily and a very snowy Chamonix Valley. Now, 8C boulders don't get repeated very often, so when you hear of one being repeated by two climbers in quick succession, you have to pay attention. The problem in question is From Dirt Grows the Flowers. It was established by Dave Graham 10 years ago in Chironico, Switzerland. Manuel Brun did it first, just after the turn of 2015, followed shortly afterwards by Nils Favre. The pair had spent numerous sessions working the boulder together in the lead up to their sends, and although Manuel had previously done 8C before, this one took them both a huge amount of effort. We caught up with Nils to find out what it felt like to climb his first 8C. My name is Nils Farr, I'm from Switzerland, I'm 23 now, and uh, I'm a climber. <laughs> I met Manuel Brun um, in the boulder, we tried together and it was really cool because we were both really close to do it, so it was just try and get motivation together, so it was really cool and he did it just before me, like one session before me. From that growth the flower was a really big fight for me, I did like eight sessions to, to do it. I decided to try this boulder because there is the mantle. My main objective was to do the mantle, so I only tried the original way and it looks better for the line. Definitely the, the hardest move is the, the mantle part. During the first session I was not able to do it really and after that I trained a lot like during two weeks really trained for, for this boulder. In the third session I was able to climb from the bottom to the to the mantle so I was really confident to do it quickly at the third or fourth session but I needed four sessions more to, to add this mantle to the first one. Now it's my first HC for sure and it's really harder than all the boulder I tried before for sure. I have a lot of bullet that I want to do for sure, but my next project is to is one month one month in the Canaries Island. So I will go there to discover the area and try to open some new boulder and yeah, discover a new part of the world for climbing. To watch the full film, go to Vimeo.com and search for Nils Favre. Up next, we're checking in with our very own trained social media monkey. Some say he only sleeps in snow holes and that he is named after a certain Czech climbing superstar. All we know is he's called the Adam. Thanks, Charlie. This week in climbing, Daniel Woods toked up in a duck pond. Woo, man. Petzl announced their newest athlete, Henrik the Hedgehog. And Tommy Caldwell admits to throwing his phone off the top of the dorm wall. But even so, he still didn't manage to escape this day program. First real shower in 19 days feel like. <laughs> in other news, Dave Graham became the latest victim of the Fug Life meme. Where would you put you as like the most famous uh, mountain climber? Where would you be? Of all time? Yeah, or, or, or this time. Oh, you're talking all time. All time or this time? I both. <laughs> Maybe right now, like, I could probably cut, roll in around three. Tommy Caldwell, Henrik the Hedgehog, Dave. Last up, we got the Alex Pucci Award, and this week's runner-up is Gabriel Villanueva with this. Pretty good, but it's got nothing on our Alex. Why did you do it? An ideal difficulty is doing like maybe four out of six times. Power to the pooch. Keep hashtagging your training photos and videos, Pooch Show Power, for your chance to be featured on the show and to win an Epic TV t shirt. We'll see you next week on the social. Thanks, Adam. That's it from us today. Check back tomorrow when we've got a bit of a left field question for some of the world's top climbers.